What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at my collecting goals for 2021. I have set myself 10 goals that I want to go over with you all. Uh, I'm a big, big believer in setting goals at the start of every new year. I think you should always take a look back at the previous year at stuff that you did well and then things that you can also improve on and set your goals for the upcoming year based on that. So that's what this one's going to be. Uh, I'm excited to get into these 10 goals with you all. But before I do get into it, I do just want to mention a few things about goal setting. So uh, I would definitely encourage everyone out there to set goals for yourself, uh, whether that be personal goals or if you are into sports cards and collecting, uh, you know, those goals as well. So uh, if you are going to set yourself goals out there, make sure that they are one, measurable and two, attainable. So uh, for example, if you are into sports cards, maybe you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Well, if your goal is to start a channel, uh, you can't really measure that. You could start a channel and it could just sit there for the entire year. So maybe your goal could be to start a channel and then upload one video a week. That would be easily measurable because at the end of the year, you can look back and say, did I upload one video a week? Yes or no. And then also your goals should be attainable as well. So for example, I'll go ahead and mention my first goal, which is to hit 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. I do think that is an attainable goal. Uh, you know, I actually started the year of 2020 under 3,000 subscribers and just recently hit 12,000. So I almost picked up 10,000 subscribers uh, in the year of 2020. So I don't think to pick up another 18,000 in this year would be that crazy. However, if my goal was to hit a million subscribers on YouTube, it could happen, but it's probably not likely. So definitely make sure your goals are measurable and attainable. So uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into my goals. And like I did just say, the first goal is to hit 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, started the year of 2020 under 3,000. Picked up right around nine to 10,000, which is absolutely amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough. Um, and I, like I said, I don't think it's crazy to pick up 18,000 more. I do believe, you know, once you get to a certain level, the subscribers do start to get easier and easier to pick up as long as you are producing that quality continuous content. So that is goal number one. Uh, and subscribers aren't really a huge deal, but it does kind of help you, uh, you know, kind of realize that you are putting out content that people like and people want to watch. So pick up 30,000 subscribers on YouTube by the uh, end of 2021 is goal number one. And then goal number two is to hit $100,000 in sales on 502frank.com. Uh, if you guys are not aware, I do have a website, 502frank.com. That is where I post all of the cards that I sell. Well, most of the cards, I do still post a few on eBay. Uh, and then I post breaks on there. I post my fire packs and mystery boxes. And $100,000 might sound really, really crazy. But again, that is sales. That is not profit. So keep in mind, you know, if I release 15 mystery boxes per month and somewhere around 30 to 50 fire packs a month, uh, I don't think a hundred thousand in sales is that crazy. Uh, it, it does sound crazy when you say it like that, but again, that is sales, not profit. So keep that in mind. And then goal number three is to finish my card room. That was actually one of my goals for last year, but my wife and I did seriously consider moving. So I didn't want to finish the card room and then have to pack it all up and move to a new house. We did actually change our mind. We didn't end up moving houses this year. So uh, for the year of 2021, I definitely want to get this room finished. Uh, be Basically, besides what you see behind me, the room is completely bare. So I want to put up, you know, some posters, some artwork, some some nice displays and stuff like that and make it like a complete card room. So that is goal number three is to finish this room. And then goal number four is to improve my setup and then also potentially get a new camera. You guys might actually notice this setup is a little bit different than normal. Typically, I record my face on my iPad and then I record the cards on my phone. I am actually recording this on my phone. Uh, and then I, uh, my sister was nice enough for Christmas to get me a nice tripod with a light that, uh, you know, is really bright on my face. So I definitely want to start using that more in the future and potentially get a, a legit digital camera to record the face. I, I, you know, as you can see on the iPhone, it is a much wider view. So you guys get to see more of the room, more of the displays in the background. So goal number four is to improve the setup. And then goal number five is to get more organized as far as storage. Uh, 
basically, if you guys could see the card room right now, there are cards everywhere. I definitely need to pick up a lot more of the uh, storage shoe boxes and put cards in because a lot of times with the base cards that I open in my breaks, they just end up all over the place. So I definitely, definitely need to get more organized. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there can relate. Uh, you know, there's just so many base cards in, in boxes. So they kind of end up all over the place. So I definitely need to get more organized as far as storage goes. Uh, probably want to get some more of these display cases and, uh, you know, just load them up with the shoe boxes. And uh, so that was number five. And now goal number six is to attend one card show every single month including the national uh, the national is coming back this year in chicago now this one might be a little tough because we still have covid stuff going on so as long as shows are not getting canceled like crazy i should be able to do this there are enough shows around the area where i can probably attend one card show a month uh, and the reason that this is on the list is because the card show videos are actually some of my most viewed videos on the channel. So I know you guys out there definitely like watching them. Uh, you know, I really like going to card shows. I think it's a ton of fun meeting other collectors. Uh, people like seeing what I pick up, what I sell. So, uh, you know, with, with those being some of my most successful videos, I definitely want to uh, attend more card shows this year. So the goal is to attend one a month. Hopefully I can attend a multiple card shows a month. Again, we'll just have to see how that goes with COVID. Hopefully that one doesn't, uh, you know, throw a wrench in everything. One of my goals last year was actually to attend the National in Atlantic City. We all know that definitely did not happen. So hopefully the National in Chicago this upcoming year will happen. And uh, next up is goal number seven. And this one is to post breaks more often. So uh, probably in the past month or so, I have been posting maybe like one break uh, you know, a week. And again, that is on 502frank.com if you guys are ever interested. I will uh, you know, continue to post breaks from time to time. I would definitely like to maybe set like a one day per week where I just do all the breaks that I post and uh, you know, do it like that. But I definitely wanna post more breaks. I think that is a really, really good way to help me hit that $100,000 in sales on my website. And it helps me you know, provide content on the channel. And then people also you know, just want to join break so definitely want to post some more and that is uh goal number seven so goal number eight is to build up more uh sealed wax so as you can see in the background i do have a this is kind of like a small portion of my sealed wax collection i do have a lot more i have some optic mega boxes i have um you know the M i have some nba hoops premium sealed boxes, just some, some random stuff, but I would definitely like to build up more sealed wax because rather than investing in one player, for, for example, say you put all of your money in uh, Zion Williamson. Well, suppose he doesn't pan out, he tears an ACL or whatever it may be. He just doesn't pan out. He's not the greatest player that everyone thinks he is. Maybe someone else from the 1920 class like John Morant or Kobe White or whoever it may be uh, does turn out to be one of the greatest players of all time. If you have that sealed wax, uh, you know, all your money is not in one player and other players from the class can step up and help that uh, sealed wax price go up. So definitely want to build up some more sealed wax. But <laughs> if you guys out there uh, try to do that as well, I'm sure you can relate. It is very, very tough to build up that sealed wax. You really just have to put it in a box and forget about it. And uh, so that is uh, goal number eight. And goal number nine is to continue the constant content. So uh, last year, honestly, I didn't really have a goal around this, but I tried as hard as I could to basically put out a video almost every single day. I think I'm kind of gonna get away from that in 2021. I don't plan on going anywhere. The videos are 100% not stopping, but I'm probably gonna scale it back just a little bit to probably three to four videos every week. I would like to do it uh, you know, probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then a video on the weekend. Um, and especially now, uh, looking at the upcoming month of January, 2021, there is not a single basketball product coming out other than Eminence, which is $18,000 per box. So I won't be picking up that box. And really until Hoops comes out in February, I'm not gonna have anything to open other than some of the boxes that I've been kind of sitting on. So uh, definitely gonna scale it back in January for sure. The goal is gonna be three to four videos per week. So that is what 2021 is gonna be looking like. 
as of right now. And then the final goal is to continue the all-in collection on Luka Doncic. So you guys know I've been picking up a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but a few really expensive Luka cards here recently. I do think he is the future of the league. I, you know, people are high on Trey Young, people are high on John Morant, Zion, just to, to name a few. And I think those are all great players, but I do think Luka is the cream of the crop. He is the uh, number one young player in my opinion. Again, just my opinion. So I definitely, in 2021, I wanna continue to go all in on Luka. Again, I did mention earlier, your goal should be measurable and attainable. That's not really a measurable, it is attainable, but not really a measurable goal. So it's kind of hard to say, you know, whether I wanna pick up three three big Luka cards for the year, or if I just wanna pick up one massive Luka card. So kind of hard to say exactly, but I definitely, 100% want to continue the all-in on Luka Doncic. So those are my 10 collecting goals for the year of 2021. Uh, definitely let me know some of your all's goals in the uh, comments below. I would really, really like to hear those. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you very soon with another video.